Welcome back everybody to another Go-Go's Crazy Bones pack cracking video. I can't wait to do more of these pack crackings whenever I get brand new sealed products in. Uh, I, I gotta make a video quick, basically. And if you hadn't checked out last week's video, I did a mail opening, package opening. We got in some really cool packs of Monica's gang. The gang's all here, right in these little packs of two Go-Go's each pack. They look super, super fun. I, it's one of the series that I've been waiting to get for quite some time. I love the aesthetic pleasing design of this cartoonified little Go-Go's. This is based on a comic book from over in Brazil. I believe this series came out in 2011 and the comic book i know the creator of the comic book actually has his own gogo -go in this set uh, which is awesome that's pretty cool uh, we'll definitely try to find his character there's some vampires some frankensteins you know i love finding those little creepy monster ones really cute pet designs too kind of akin to some of the designs we saw in the foot series but i think this one did really well so they utilize some variations from the monica gang line in some of their other series terma de Man Monica, Monica's gang. If you are stoked like I am to open these up, make sure to leave a like on the video, show the support, and leave a comment if you used to get these as a kid. I know I've got a lot of people from across the seas over in Brazil too that watch. Did you guys pick these up when you were kids? Let me know your classic nostalgia tales from these guys. Now, I believe you can get painted versions. I think some are unpainted too. I don't know what the ratio is gonna be of what we should or shouldn't be able to find. I know that you can potentially get some jellies, but again, those might be a little bit more harder to find. I think we're gonna see a lot of unpainteds in here, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a few paintings, we get a few jellies, because they look really cool from this series. For as long running as this series is, these, uh, these packs can be a little bit tricky to get your hands on still, so very, very lucky and happy to get some of these brand new sealed packs. Uh, because, yeah, they, they can be a bit tricky to find still today. So what are we waiting for? Let's go crack some packs of Monica's gang. All right. Let's check out these packs right quick. Up nice, close, and personal. Terma de Monica Go-Go's. We've got two Go-Go's, four Chromos, which are the stickers. So four stickers, two Go-Go's. And then I'm hoping we get a nice little checklist in here, too. Would be very, very nice. Panini, they got their all their stuff on there. Gogosland.com, when that was a thing, that's awesome. Let's check out the back here. Not too much going on, you know, just the regular information and stuff. Nothing too crazy, but really nice, simple blue packs. I love the blue packs. They always look really crisp and clean. I don't know, Gogos just does a good job with blue. So this is one of the little packs you can get. They've got a couple variations you can see with this guy. I think this guy's name is Frank or something, uh, but there is like a Frankenstein figure too. You can see like, this is like the same exact, <laughs> hopefully we pull him too, but that's like the same exact elephant from like the foot series, which is funny. Got a little doggo. Uh, it's a cute doggo too. I like that one. Kind of over the little Sutas farm animals. It's kind of like the same kind of looking thing, but I think I prefer how this one looks. Hopefully we'll run into a few of these guys. Let's see, what other, I think we got another pack here. Yeah, there we go. Let me straighten this one out a little bit. But here's another one of the figures. Very cool, I don't know his name. I'm not gonna know a lot of them. Looks like we got like a ghost guy or something too, which is pretty unique, pretty cool. I just know the one guy, the artist, the creator of this, he's in here and he's got like big bushy eyebrows. We'll be able to recognize him when we see him, I'm sure. Mauricio, I believe is his name. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, there is his name, yeah. Mauricio de Sosa is the editor and the guy who created the Little Monica's Gang comic so very very cool double checking to make sure we don't have any oh we do we have one more variation of packs we got this little like cowboy guy here he's pretty funny looking i dig it it's hilarious we got like some kind of lion almost like a wizard of oz type lion thing and like a little girl with a little bow on her head very cute very cool again good designs in here i like them all right so let's scoot these out of the way again i've got just a bunch of packs that will open up here today and then i have more to do more videos if we want to do more of these but let's scoot these off to the side so we can start opening these up first pack of derma de monica's monica's gang Let's see what we got here. We're going to pull out stickers and stuff first. Try not to reveal the Go-Go's. All right, so, ooh, big stickers, very big stickers. Almost cropped. I don't know if I like that croppedness of them. Oh, see, these are more full. These are more full stickers. Okay. Look at that cute little cat. Oh, my goodness. That's so cool. Now, does it have the name on the sticker? 
no name on the sticker, but it does have the number. So number 4748. And this one is L and F. So I think you can like assemblies into a nice little kind of like sticker poster maybe or something, which is cool. All right, I like that. More things to kind of collect as you go through the packs. Checklist for the Go-Go's. We do get one of these half checklists, which I'm personally not a fan of. Just give me the full checklist so I know what I should be looking for and entice me to buy more with a full checklist. Don't give me the one through 20 stuff. But unfortunately, that's what they have right now. They've got one through 20 checklists. They got them all right here. Very, very cool. Uh, there's our Mauricio guy. That's the guy we need to look for as the creator of the little comic here. We got Monica himself there and a couple other figures. Some really cool ones in here, but that's those. Let's get out our first one. Who do we got? What? Oh, we got the dog. Look at that. All right. A nice little gray unpainted dog. Now, remember, I think we will find a lot of unpainteds in here. 42 is the name on that one. Very, very nice, so very cool. I mean, the unpainted look clean. They are kind of doing that like whole embossing thing like we've seen from the series one. I think it's, uh, was it Panini that did that one too? They got the, the nice effect to kind of give detail to everything, which I appreciate. Let's pull out our other go-go. Oh my gosh, back-to-back -back dogs double up on the doggos. A nice orange though. Big fan of that nice orange. That looks really, really clean, actually. Prefer that over the gray, but first pack is straight up double dogs. Okay, let's do another one. We'll briefly go through stickers and stuff, but then we won't worry too much about them. Uh oh, this pack is giving me trouble. Come on, let's check it out. We did get another checklist. We got 41 through 60. This has some of the animals. We got our mummy dude up here who looks dope. There's two different elephants, actually. A skull, which is awesome looking. I don't know what that is. What is that, dude? I have no clue what that's supposed to be. But Vampy, we got Frank here. Awesome, awesome figures that I will be loving to get. Really, really dope. Let's check these out. I don't know what that is. That's kind of crazy looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome all right 17 18 for those stickers all right not the sticker poster this time we just got more of the regular stickers i like his vibe he's got a he's got like an archie vibe almost 32 and 31 okay what go-go's do we have in here oh look at you wow look at that pink that is a sharp pink i love that color that is a nice looking one I love the look of this guy, too. I don't know. Oh, well, he's gone. He dropped. Come back here, dude. All right. Don't know your name. I'm going to be putting names up on ones I do and don't know. So don't worry about that. Let's see if we can get a painted. Oh, we did get a painted of Archie. Let's go. Our little Archie man. That's so cool. Oh, so lightly painted, as you can see. Got the black little dotted eyes. And then he's just got a white shirt. Don't know why I'm dropping everything. There we go. He's got that little swoopy hair. I wish the swoopy hair was painted. That would have been nice. Just give an extra color to that. But that is really, really cool. All right. First painted. Nice. Another one. Let's see it. Let's see if we can get ourselves another checklist. Oh, so we did get more of the poster. There we go. That one's got a bunch of figures on it. H and G. I wonder what it goes up to. Like that guy. He's got a cool vibe. Oh, fun. Can you get medals in here? Like bronzy ones? I really hope so. That would be dope. And one through 20 checklist. We already saw this one. First go-go of the pack. We've got a watermelon eating little guy. He's very, very cute. He's licking his lips with a giant tongue. That tongue is leaping out of his mouth to eat that watermelon. But the watermelon actually has a lot of nice detail to it. That's actually more than I would think they would have for a nice little watermelon. But that's really cool. Extra little detailed lines in the hair too, which again, I like how these look. I think they just nailed this little cartoony vibe. And we get the weird mop thing, which I have no clue what this is. Somebody, somebody please tell me. I don't know. Is it, what's the name of it again? Floquinha? 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 I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's like, it's like a ghosty thing or something, I want to say. But I'm, I'm probably wrong on that. Someone give me a correction on that. Let's open our little cowboy pack here, see if we can get him. He's a little goofy goober and see if we can maybe get our other checklist that we're missing. Let's see, one through 20 again. Okay, so no go on that one. We got some new stickers though. He's a cute one. I like his little tuft of hair. And 2930, there's our little creator man himself. I don't know who that is. It feels like it 
might not be a character from the comic or something. It feels more specific to maybe someone else. Not a fan, though. Out of all the series uh, in here, all the Go-Go's in the series, I think this one's my least favorite. I don't know. doesn't match the vibe. It's just got a weird look to it. So if we can avoid that one, that one's fine, because I'd rather get things like this weird dude. Look at him. Oh, is he a caveman? <gasps> Oh, he's like a caveman. He's got a club in his hand and his whole head is full of hair. That is so cool. I love that. Full of hair. He's got a great look to him. A nice white too. That's, oh my goodness. These guys just want to escape my hand and fall on the floor. All right, that's a great one. Let's see, what do we got here? We got the oink oink piggy boy himself. Oh my gosh, he's got like the full body with the legs. He's, I kind of assumed like the pig would be like sitting or something kind of just sitting upright but no he's actually like got the full body all four legs that's kind of a nice little change up switch up there i like that got some little dirt on him but don't worry about it this pink this hot pink looks really sharp i really really enjoy that another let's see what we've got we've got uh let's see we got the checklist we got one through 20 again oh oh for shame for shame gotta get the other checklist oh is he like a caveman thing too or something he looks cool. She, that one looks cool. See, I just like, I like, I like this style. Look at that little farmer cowboy dude. He's got like goggles on. Super nice. 25, 26, 24, 23. Okay, we're getting some good grouping of stickers. First go-go, a painted, the little tufty man himself. I love him. Look at how cool he is. Aw, see, they painted the hair on this one. He's got a nice little purple shirt, raised eyebrows and everything. That is super cool. What is he, 30 or something? I don't know. I can't read it from here, but that that is a nice looking little go-go. I appreciate that. I dig it. I dig it a lot. That one is super fun. And a painted, which is just excellent. Gotta love it. Let's get another painted. All right, no painted on this one, but look at her. This is a fantastic little girl go-go, which, you know, go-go's in general, always been hit or miss when it comes to the female characters. This is adorable. They did a great job. Again, this one's given that PKXD vibes, but this series came first. So you got to give credit where credit's due. They kind of launched this cutesy little thing with this cartoon aspect. It's really nice. All right, another pack we're going to get open and we're going to find not the missing checklist. We've got that last one again, the 41 through 60, which I think there's a lot on here that I want to get. So no big deal, but we get the dog and the bunny. Very cool. The Bunny is very nice too. Reminds me of, I think it's series three has the, the rabbit looking dude. It reminds me of that. And we get another one of these posters. In fact, does this one just connect right up here? Oh, look at that. So we already got one connected and it looks like that's it. It doesn't connect anymore, but that's like the full little sticker poster thing. It's just four by four stickers. Okay, good to know. That's cool though. Let's see who we got in this one. We don't have a painted, but we do have a very cool, cute little hat orange man himself. He is very cool. I love the oranges and the pinks of this series so far. They did a great job with those colors. I'm liking it. And in fact, compared to this painted, these are two different shades of orange. So interesting that they did a different shade for certain painted figures, but a solid one right there. I like it. We should have one more. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, oh, she's a little scuffed up or dirty or something. But another one of these girls, again, look at it. Look at, that's just cute. It's cute. It's well done. It's a nice little, little go-go. And yeah, that, that's nice. You got the whole arms in there and everything. That's some good mold work right there. But this one is like, I don't know, scuffed up or something, which is a bummer. And scuffed up in the packaging quite a bit. Kind of disappointing on that end, but uh, other than that, I do like that figure. We're cranking through. Gotta get that final checklist. Let's see. All right, 41 through 60. Once again, ooh, we get, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So many stickers. We got double the stickers, double the fun in this one. There's some more. We got the skull, the mummy, the vampire. Uh, we've gotten this sticker before. Uh, I don't think we got that sticker before. And then look at this, 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 this guy's super cool. He reminds me of like a series three. Let's see who we got first. Who do we got? We got a little baby with a little tuft of hair again too, a little dollop of hair sucking on uh, one of the binkies, binky baby boy. And he's got this very nice teal. 
an unusual teal that you don't normally see in Go-Go's, actually. I, you know, that's an uncommon, uncommon color set. And it looks like this, they really, like, went ham on all the colors we're seeing so far. Like, there's a lot of differences here. I like the variety. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Oh! Oh, nice! That is excellent! That one is so cool. There goes my light. Dang. We'll turn it back on for as long as we can. But that is an excellent looking figure. That is a wonderful painted figure. Let me see if I can find the name of this one. And of course, it's number 24. So it's one of the ones that we need to actually find still for the checklist. So I don't have the name yet. Big bummer. All right, we're gonna have to work with what we got for the lighting now. I will adjust it to make sure we can see everything nice and clear. Another score for another painted. Very, very good. Three painted so far, no jellies. We gotta find ourselves a jelly. But we will move on and get into a new pack. Let's see who we got in here. Bring it out, bring it out. Checklist time, 41 through 60 again. Dang, that's a bummer. Uh, we've got different characters. Look at that hair design on that dude. That's super funny. And I believe we got this sticker already. He's funny looking. I, that's a crazy green too. If we can find that green, I really like that. That's a nice green. All right, let's see. Who do we got first? Ooh, oh, let's go. It's like a nice metal-y... It's silverish bronze, actually, but it's got this kind of toothpaste -y vibe going on. If you can see the... See, it just keeps dropping. If you can see the swirls going on in the head here, that is really, really cool. Dang, okay, so you can get, like, these nicer finishes in this series, too. Lots of cool stuff going on with this series. I'm digging it. Just want to get the light on it for just a half second to check that out a little bit better. That is super nice. Great, great find on that one. Let's see. Who, oh, Jelly Baby! Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Let's go. That is a cool one. That is this dude right here, actually. Number 43. We should have a name for you, right? Horatio. Horatio. Okay, Horatio. I don't know really what you're going for, what your vibe is here, but that is excellente. That is a beautiful yellowish lime green jelly one of my favorite colors to find of jellies as you guys may already know that is excellent oh what a find what a pickup all right we've gotten a nice little different finish we've gotten a few painteds and we've hit a jelly so that is fantastic we just need to find this other missing checklist gotta find a skull too this is like a woolly mammoth i guess here's a second set of stickers he's holding on to like a little bunny or something like a little stuffed animal maybe that's interesting let's see who do we got first the pig again not in a pink but an orange an orange little piggy coming to the market that's fine I'm, I'm good with the pigs we don't need to get any more pigs and we get okay we got the little girl again that we got before this one is in better shape it's in this nice brown coloration too we do get doubles of two in this pack, but at least we got a nicer version of her, which I can appreciate because I was bummed that that one was uh, in a little bit of rough shape. What do we got in this one? Is this one going to pop open easily? Yes or no? Let's see here. Ah, oh, the same checklist again. Why do we keep missing that checklist? Got this sticker. I don't think we've gotten this sticker set. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see who we got. We've got the lion, the king lion. Oh man, look at that. That is such a nice one. He's got, he's holding like a staff in his hand. He's got the crown on his head. He's got a nice looking little vibe to him. I dig that. That is really nice. Very good pickup, another new character, but let's see what we got for the final. All right, not a painted. And we did get this one, didn't we? We got this one she's like skipping and running yeah we were trying to find the name but we don't have the checklist for her. but again it's kind of got this like magenta color this kind of like darker pinkish purple that is interesting man there's so many variations it's crazy another pack whoa this one's just trying to spill out all over the gosh darn place so we're gonna just trying to pull out the stickers first but it's being difficult uh-oh 41 through 60 We've got Frank and the vampire dude. Very cool. Got to get these guys. Love the vampire. He, he looks awesome. But I always like getting the Frankenstein characters. Here's another one too. 
cute character. This guy's like a little clown. And on that, like, nice little metal sheen, too. Okay, okay, who do we got in here? Who do we got? We've got the creator himself. Very, very nice. We've got Mauricio. Uh, that is his character. That is him. So this is the creator turned go-go of the series. Super fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to have their own go-go, right? That's so fun. A nice looking red, too. What's our last one in here? We've got, okay, just a simple gray of this little ghost man dude, whatever you want to call him. I don't really know what he's going for. I guess he's a ghost. I'm not really sure. Where, where's our list? Let's see. Pendina. Pendina. I don't know. A haunt or a spirit, maybe, I'm guessing. He's cool. He's get, He's got a little look to him. He's not like the craziest of ghost things that I've seen, but he's got a vibe. I will say these guys have very small bases, so they can tip kind of easily. Another pack, another day, another dollar, another go-go. Let's get it out. We've got 41 through 60 again. Bummer. Man, we keep getting those. All right, we've gotten these stickers. So our first go-go is a painted one of this little baby guy with the, the little sucking of the thing, the little tuft of hair. Again, I wish they put more detail on the hair a little bit, just a little, because it, uh, it would look nice. He's got a little bit of dustage going on from the packaging, but that's nice. Another painted little subtle paints, little subtle. That's okay. That's okay. Who else we got in here? Ooh, very, very sharp. Okay. This is like a black, but it's almost like a metal black. It's got a little shine to it. Let me just check that out a little bit. Do you see that kind of like metally shine? It's a very cool like look, honestly. I wonder if there's glowies in this series, just thinking about it. I don't know if they have glowies in this one. This one is very unique, though. Very unique little flavor of coloration going on, but I'm digging it. All right, we got a few more packs to turn through. Maybe we'll get lucky and find ourselves one more jelly. That would be ideal. And find that other checklist, because we got to find that. This is a new little sticker set one, it looks like. And I don't think we've gotten this stickers either. That's cool. All right, who's our first one? We got the ghost in a painted, the little spirit creature madness going on in a nice painted figure. Look at that sharpness. Nice white and black styling. That is clean. Great pickup, great find for that one. Gotta get these end ones with all the monsters. That would be a nice little collection to have. That is a good find. We're getting a good amount of painteds. Very happy with that. And we... Get <laughs> we get this turtle, dude. He reminds me of like a turtle guy from Mario, like straight up. It's hilarious. And he's got so much detail, so much detail on his body work and everything, all those little things. Of course, we just got the, the nice little stamp on the back. He looks hilarious from the back. Just the shape of him is so funny. He's got a good silhouette. I'll give him that. He also kind of reminds me of like Master of Disguise, just turtle, turtle. That's, I don't know, Master of Disguise, it looks like him in an outfit or something. It's hilarious. All right, another pack. Let's open this one up. Goodness me, why can't we find this checklist? One through 20, <laughs> can't seem to do it. We got that one. He's interesting. What are you trying to be? He almost looks like the elephant in shape and ears, but they chopped off his trunk and they just left him as is. Interesting. All right, who's our first go-go? Oh, Frank, let's get it. This is such a great video. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Gotta love it when the video comes together and you kind of just pull the things you want to pull. That is so cool. Look at all the little detail on Frank. He's such a nice little figure, man. He's got all these scarrings, all this little outfit going on. Super, super fun. I love it. I love when they do monsters. Such a nice little little cartoonified Frank too. So different from the other Frankenstein-esque creatures that we've seen. We do get another unpainted. We get this nice green that we were talking about. So we did pull one of these greens and it has a nice little baseball cap. He is very cool. His name is Hero. All right, Hero, you rocking it. You got vibe too. And everybody just wants to leap from my fingertips because I'm holding them at the edge. All right, second to last pack. Let's get you open here. Let's check out what we got in that. All right, we got those stickers. We didn't get this sticker. Oh, look at that. Ooh, the caveman painted is pretty fun. Got to admit, that's nice. And one through 20, checklist, bummer. All right, one more jelly to seal off the video here. That would be amazing. We've got this guy. Uh, once again, we already got the painted of him, but this is that nice magenta color. 
Very, very cool. Give me a jelly. Oh, the pig again in a pink. So straight duplicate pink piggy. Okay, bummer. One more pack of Monica's gang and we will close out this video. Ah, oh, so, so fun. Again, leave a comment if you want to see more of Monica's gang openings. We've got more hiding in the boxes. 41 through 60, we got, the only thing we got screwed on today was the checklist. We did not find our middle checklist 20 through 40. Uh, that is a bummer. But you know what? I could care less about that over the actual Go-Go's. He is crazy still to me. We got like all the Go-Go's we wanted to find. We got to showcase so many nice ones today. Oh, oh cool. Oh my gosh, it's in like a wheelchair, but they got the whole thing going here. Again, the nice detail on these figures is impressive that they were able to pull this off and get this nice kind of cartoony vibe still. That is just a really nice looking figure. Super cool. And the last one, will it be a jelly? Hey, no, but it is Vamp. It is the Vampire Dracula. That is fantastic. Vampire, Vampire from Monica Gang. That is so nice. He's pulling his cape up, which I didn't even realize at first. He's pulling it over himself, which is super fun. Oh, that's a nice one. That's number 60, isn't he? That's the last one in the series. Yeah, that's the final guy of the series. The only other one that I kind of wanted to get today was Monica. Oh, wait, we did get Monica, didn't we? Oh, no, we just got a sticker. We needed to get this one. Monica is the one that has the little bunny rabbit stuffed animal thing. But, oh my gosh, we got Frank, we got the vampire dude, uh, just incredible on that front, two great pulls. We got a metal looking finish, like a bronzes metal finish thing, super nice. We got one, two, three, four, five painteds, five painteds, yep, yeah. five wonderfully painted figures. We did also get the inclusion of the creator man himself, and then we got one very nice a jellyfied little lime green jelly super super cool why am i scooted so over we gotta separate these out to show them off a little bit better there we go those are definitely the pulls of the day for sure all these guys were great great pickups glad i was able to show off everything i kind of wanted to show off about the series and now we can just keep going and enjoying it from here and collecting different guys finding more jellies hunting for the jellies and I'm happy with the ratio of painteds that we got. I feel like that's a pretty good ratio for the amount of packs we opened. So super, super thrilled about this and so glad to finally be opening these guys. That is going to do it for the video. If you stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. While you're here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the more Go Go's Crazy Bones content we'll be coming out with. Probably looking at trying to do more Series 1. I still got several boxes over here trying to complete that master set. Uh, and I still have a box of things that's completely untouched, unopened, that we can go searching for some aliens. So modern, the classics. Tell me in the comments what you guys want to see next. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And we will catch you in the next video.